Hey everybody, welcome back to The Restaurant Show and I have the executive chef Simon Warren from the Omni Hotels and Resorts right there in Palmetto Dunes. Welcome back. Thank you, Orchid. You have a lot of good stuff cooking here. I do, I do. We have some delicious dishes today we're going to prepare from HH uh, Prime Restaurant. Okay, so we're going to show you what they have to, um, to offer for HH Prime. And remember guys, you do not have to be staying at the hotel that is to correct. eat at these fantastic restaurants. Um, I actually was just there a few weeks ago with my girlfriend and we went to the Bowie Bar. Oh, and had yes. fantastic food and got to sit out on, um, on that beautiful deck and that's right um, and we live here so it was you know it was great it was it was almost a little vacation away for the afternoon but um, okay so what are we cooking up then chef what do we start with so today we're gonna do our shrimp and grit appetizer for the yeah. restaurant and then we're gonna finish with our beef carpaccio also on our menu wonderful and you're gonna I'm gonna help a little bit I'm gonna spoon <laughs> out the grits but these are just regular grits what kind of grits are those they? those are a smoked cheddar grits smoked cheddar yes, oh delicious okay so I'm gonna spoon it while you're cooking up, and you're actually gonna cook up those beautiful shrimp, aren't you? I am. Okay. And these are beautiful uh, white American shrimp. Oh my gosh, look how big those are. And what's, we were just talking about, what are the size on those? Those are a U12 shrimp. U12. So basically guys, what that means is when you, you know, when you go to the store, and um, that usually means how many per pound? Per pound, is that, that is it, correct. Chef? That is correct. So a lot of times you might see, you know, in your ba in the grocery store, and you're, you might just see like a 26, 30 count. That's correct, and that just means 26 to 30 shrimp per pound. Per pound, so give you an idea. So these babies, there's only 12 of them. That's right, they're very <laughs> big. There's only 12 of them very the whole pound. Yes, they're very big. <laughs> we call them jumbo shrimp. It's okay, jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Not actually your shrimp cocktail, <laughs> no. per se. No, 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 no. And I think this dish really speaks to uh, you know the culture of the low country yeah. uh, in the region where we're at. I mean, grits and shrimp are also a huge staple in menu ideas and uh, local flavor. So that's definitely what we want to accent on our menu. Yeah, and um, and at HH Prime, you guys have obviously um, a big menu, but a lot of it is influenced Absolutely. by Absolutely, we try to you know be as local, regional as possible, um, show you know local ingredients or regionally inspired dishes, um, along with our prime beef also, right. hence HH Prime. Which is what we have a little, um, Example of that here. Now, what that's type correct. of cut is this for this? So, beef carpaccio is classically beef tenderloin, okay. um, and that's what we use. Um, the only variation we do is we rub it with a coffee barbecue rub, oh, and we sear it great. really quickly. So, it is still raw, but we've implemented a little bit of flavor on right. the outside of the beef, so it's highly seasoned. Um, and coffee and barbecue—that's like my life. Okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I'm in. Okay, so you're gonna actually while that's cooking up because sure. those obviously aren't gonna take a minute to cook. Nope, they, so, they um, will take a few minutes, so we have some time to spend on okay. this dish. Okay, so let's here. Let me actually just move this over for right now, so sure. we can show them what you're sure. doing here. Okay, so you've already sliced those. That's correct. Very so we thin. slice that's it very cute. thin. Yes, so it's uh, easy for to eat. Um, so we are just gonna beautifully garnish this with a little bit of fresh asparagus Love that we've it. blanched. And you guys, he's going to show you how to make these plates look gorgeous. So just like in the restaurant. And maybe That's these correct. are some of the tips that you could take when you're, you know, kind of putting your stuff Absolutely. together at home. So just some fresh olive oil. Right, Extra okay. virgin olive oil. Just going to oh. lay drizzle. Yep, beautiful. And what's that? This is a balsamic glaze. So oh. all it is is balsamic vinegar that we reduce down with sugar until it's a glaze. Could so you buy that at the store though? Is there uh, you can find it in maybe a higher end, upper scale uh, gotcha. market, maybe like a fresh market. If okay. not, um, it's it's very easy to just reduce. You're gonna do basically four parts vinegar to two parts sugar. Remember just that. Just reduce it down. Four parts balsamic vinegar. Correct. Two parts sugar, white sugar, raw yes, sugar, white, white sugar. sugar is fine. Thank you, that's You're a great welcome. tip. How so, long would it take me? Uh, it'll probably take about 15 to 20 okay. minutes. Great, thank you. <laughs> So this oh, is just a little bit of baby arugula. Yeah, I love it. So again, we're just gonna garnish the top of this for Look a little dressing. That. And then this is crystallized basil. Yeah, I love, we were joking about it earlier. I'm like, what is it? That's crazy, like I love it. And that's, um. so that you said was, uh, it has a little bit of a sweet to it, right? Correct, because it's gonna have the herb component to it, but it's also gonna have a sweet finish, which pairs very well with all your ingredients here on this dish. Absolutely gorgeous, look at that, guys. That is, and he makes it look so simple. <laughs> and I guess maybe what you do put it together, maybe it's, you know, it's just the fact that the presentation is just That's gorgeous. right. It really makes you feel like We all eat with our eyes yes, first. Yeah, so. that is absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put this a little bit to the side and we'll bring back our beautiful shrimp and grits. And now, um, tell me, you are gonna do, you have a little bit of a new concept and hours going on at HH Prime starting in we, July, is that we correct? We do, 
Correct. July 1st, we are going to start opening at 6 p.m. instead of 5 p.m. Okay. Uh, to 10 p.m. for dinner service. Okay, great. Um, we also have a new beverage program, uh, which is actually omni-wide. It's not just our property. Great. Um, there's some regionally inspired cocktails. Um, there's also um, you said you do a, a, lot, of a lot of throwback yeah, um, I love cocktails, it. which is hot, trendy it's right now. It's very trendy right now, um, absolutely. One of the most popular ones that we've been selling is actually the Moscow Mule, which yep. I'm sure a lot of people we were... are very... Uh, very in tune with, which Absolutely. is served in the copper cup. Yes, um, very cool. Ginger beer, which kind of speaks to this region anyway. Exactly. Um, vodka and lime. And it's I, very simple, but uh, very good. And again, you don't have to be staying at the hotel because you can actually go there even for the bar and just yes. enjoy some of these great cocktails. We and welcome en everybody. And enjoy like that resort feel yes. without having to be on vacation truly. So I think that's nice. And do you guys have music going on sometimes too? Uh, we do. Yeah. During the season in HH Prime, happy hour starting July 1st will not be six to seven with live entertainment oh, every wow. single evening. You guys, that's great. And even yeah. if you have guests coming um, to visit, what a great way to show off the island it, and it the is. beautiful it view is. that they have there and the courtyard and everything they've redone with the um, Omni. If you haven't been there since the renovation, you have got to check it out. It's absolutely Please gorgeous. Do. Please yeah. come. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start plating this one up. And this is all the, uh, adding in all the good, now what is that? That is sherry wine. Oh, perfect. And then I also, did you add in some? That's so tasso that's ham. Tasso ham. Perfect. So it's going to give us a little spice. All right. And great. a little bit of that meaty flavor to balance out everything. Perfect. We're going to And go we'll just finish yeah. it with some herbs. Beautiful. And fresh herbs? That is correct. And you always add the fresh herbs in at the end because I do. really I just want that fresh, bright flavor. Yes, absolutely. I love it. Thank you so much, Chef Warren. And um, you guys remember... HH Prime is just one of the beautiful dining uh, establishments in the um, Omni Resort. And oh my gosh, that's a meal. That's not an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. So make sure you check them out. And um, thank you again, You're Chef. You're welcome. We really thank you for having me. We'll be back in just a moment.